Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna give you a reading for the Twin Flame Collective. The Divine Masculine will be in the Tarot of Silicon Dawn. Karma. He's in hermit mode right now, and he's speaking his truth or, or realizing a truth. Um, he might be masturbating or having sex without um, a baby. That's what this card means in this deck. He had no baby, so read into that how you will. But he's about to communicate. I feel, even though it's not Eight of Wands, I feel that. With this Eight of Pentacles energy, it's like he's working on how to communicate. Um, and he sees the Divine Feminine as, as his ultimate blessing. But this is also Ace of Wands in this deck, so very passionate energy. And he sees her as someone who's like very in, in her own joy and kind of showing off. He's walking away from some bad habits, negative dependencies, um, to have a new beginning away from that drama. That's bringing him justice, but it's kind of a tower to get away from that changing his life completely as he has this huge level up we do have some spiritual work there and a baby in the future okay that's what he wants anyway new beginning or an actual child look at the feminine in this halloween tarot by kipling last <laughs> karma's being absurd today i think she might be a leo i thought oh shit tower of for sure, a tower. I thought she might be a Leo, but I think for sure she's... Uh, oh, I thought she might be a Virgo, but I think for sure she's a Leo. Because of how dramatic she is. Karma, I don't want you in this reading. Oh my god, she's so annoying. Let's just put her in the reading. She wants to be in here. Just relax. Feminine energy is keeping the peace between two fighting, conflicting people or energies. Um, she's like releasing control of the situation to God. Because she has no other way to do it. Um... Because for so long she was kind of trying to be greedy. And that left a lot of people look at crying in the background here. So now she's just going for someone she's actually passionate about or sexually interested in. Yes, going forward. Um, toward her king of bats. Um, in the night of ghost energy, so she's going to be um, delivering it, an emotional message, but also expressing passion, sexual energy. T judging from karma's attitude, yeah, very sexual energy. Uh, she wants marriage with this person in the future, but she's keeping that a secret with the moon there. Um, she's walking away from something she was emotionally attached to, and she's having dreams about her masculine energy. So that's leaving her in a pause moment right now, because she's like, Contemplating her next move and planting seeds for her future um, because she's extremely loving and she wants someone to match her in this energy. Cool. I'm going to do one more deck because I have it um, for shared energy between the twins right now. Twin Flames. Sarah's Tarot deck. <clears throat> Saw the moon briefly there, so there's a lot of secrets here still. I just want Carmen to interfere so much with this reading, but you know, there are a lot of external. I see this as external influences on their connection. They're both in a page of wands energy, which means like going for their desires, but um, sort of childish gestures toward that. I mean. 
They're still learning. There's a lot to learn still. They're holding on to each other. They're both getting a financial blessing. We keep seeing that. Um, so many page energies here. Um, they're doing self-care right now. They're giving back to themselves. We're returning to their inner child and nurturing that self. Um, healing from this heartbreak of the past. We also have them releasing this energy of like um, um, imbalance where they were expressing love toward more than one person um, instead of their true love, the two of cups, okay? And that's why they had to face karma. This is also coming out. Now they're in their joy. Well, that was giving them reverse joy, but right now they're in their joy as they reconnect with their um, higher self, their spiritual side. Although this is leaving them kind of up at night, overthinking everything. Um, but they're really focused on their abundance and their financial situation at this time as well. That's all I have. Uh, this is a level up in confidence here too. I love you guys. Bye.